This example is dedicated to Ampere force law. The law states that the force between two straight parallel conductors is calculated using this equation. Here I denotes the electric current value. R is the distance between conductors and mu zero is the constant and for the con for this configuration the force is two times 10 to the power of minus seven newtons per meter of conductor length the currents here are in opposite directions so conductors are repelling each other let's simulate this case with quick field i create a new problem ampere force the problem type is magnetostatics in fact, we can calculate the force for the alternating current or for transient currents, but for the simplicity, I choose the direct current. So the problem type is magnetostatics. The conductor's length are one meter. Now here you can see the geometry model editor window you can open this window by clicking the edit geometry button it is presumed that the conductor's dimensions are small comparing to the distance between the conductors and we can simulate this by assigning zero cross section for the conductors these dot will represent the right conductor and these dot will represent the left conductor now in order to calculate the magnetic field we should add the air we could can simulate unbounded problems, so we should add some boundary. So this is the simulation area. Next, I should assign labels to the objects. I switch to the select objects. Click the object and open the properties dialog. Here I should type in some label. This would be the air. Now you can hold the control button to select multiple objects at the same time. Now this is the boundary. Now this dot is left conductor i minus and this dot is right conductor i plus now we have the geometry model and we have labels assigned to specific objects next we should specify physical properties for each label I double click the label name in the tree and here in the dialog I specify for the air the magnetic permeability of the air one far away from the conductors the magnetic field fades to zero so at the boundary I specify zero magnetic potential condition For the left conductor, I specify linear current minus one ampere. 
And for the right conductor, I specify linear current plus one ampere. Now let's build the finite element mesh and simulate the problem. If we take a closer look at the magnetic field lines, we can see that the lines are distorted. This is caused by the half mesh settings. Let's switch on the fine element mesh. You can see inside each triangle, it is believed that the field changed linearly. In this triangle, we have straight line, and in another triangle, straight line, and here we have the sharp corner. We should build the smaller elements to get the smooth field lines. When Quickfield initially builds the fine element mesh, the logic is simple. The larger the geometric object, the larger the element size. So here we have the triangle of about half meter with side of about half meter and here the triangle size is about five meters but now we have the solution calculated and quick field can automatically adjust the mesh you should click the Solve and refine button and allow QuickField to adjust the mesh. Now again let's take a look at the field lines. Much better but still we have some sharp corners here. We can adjust the mesh once more time. Now the field picture looks nice. Before we calculate the force, I would like to demonstrate how to validate the magnetic field direction using the right hand rule. Remember the left current is negative. It's directed behind the plane of the screen. So the magnetic field lines should be clockwise directed. I can open the field pictures properties and switch on the vectors. You can see that the magnetic field lines around the left conductor with negative current are clockwise directed. To calculate the force, you should build the integration contour. I will use the contour tool and surround the conductor with the contour. The force acting on the air is zero, so it is safe to build the contour of any shape. The, the only requirement is that the conductor should be inside the contour, and the contour should be directed counterclockwise. Now let's go to the integral calculator and calculate the mechanical force. Here you can see the mechanical force amplitude and the direction. You see mostly there is the X component and the force directed to the left. So indeed the conductors are repelling each other. The ampere force law states that force magnitude should be 2 times to the 10 to the power of minus 7. And in quick field we get 1.99 times 10 to the power of minus 7. And this force is in newtons and it is calculated per 1 meter of conductor length. You can find the simulation files using this link on our website. Here is the page and 
and then unload link. 